Let's go. It's day two in Leo Gang, which means that everyone's gonna be pulling in their trucks and trailers today to start setting up their pits, but it was raining all night last night and it's still raining this morning, so it's gonna be a little wet out there. Oh, hey there, bud. Oh, hey there. How did the setup go? Good, smooth, easy. Quick. Top notch today. Pretty quick, easy. What's going on then? <laughs> uh, we came over to pivot and Bernard's like, here boys, set your cameras down in the car and, <laughs> and help us set up the tent. Yeah, you got a big so. roof to lift up. It's I've got two time. broken wrists, so I'm not <laughs> yeah. too helpful, but I can hold yeah. a camera. True, true. <laughs> yeah. It's about time we do some real work. Right, we've got place to work. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, go, boys. That's nice. not light. You're right, it's not light. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for filming. Ah, no worries. Fun training jobs for yeah, a little couple bit. minutes. I'll stick to this one later. <laughs> uh, so since I last saw you guys, uh, we've been on a bit of a UK tour. We went down and rode some cool trails in Wales. Uh, it's true, Wales never fails. So um, yeah, highly recommend. Dovey, Riska, all the good stuff down there. And then me and Matt, uh, went up to Scotland for the EWS, so we raced that on Sunday. I hadn't raced in Jura for like 10 months and it felt like um, I had a bit of a shock for the pro stage. Forgot how hard you have to push at EWS these days, but um, managed to up the pace on race day and um, yeah, finished up eight, so I was stoked. And then we got on a plane yesterday, flew out here and um, ready for some downhill action this week. So uh, it's been pretty flat tack for us. But um, we had good weather in Scotland, so it was sick. Got a uh, favorite memory or story from Leo Gang? Uh, yeah, one year after the race, when um, everyone was having a few beers, uh, George Brannigan actually knocked over a pot plant, and everyone ran away, and I was a bit oblivious to the running away part, at which point I was tackled by some uh, very aggressive security guards, and then they basically like pretty much pulled the guns on me. Uh, marched me back to their little base, demanding my passport. Somehow, Martin the masseuse, who used to be on the scene, he uh, managed to talk my way out of it for me, and uh, he quickly smuggled me off, and we managed to escape. So uh, yeah, and it was me so basically I got stitched up. But uh, yeah, that's Leo Gang in a nutshell. Yeah. So this one year, me and my buddies Taj, Jake, and Schaefer arrived a couple days early for the race. <laughs> we took the gondola up to the top of the hill and we ate schnitzel and there was like an, like a traditional Austrian band playing music on a stage. We rode park all day. Once our lift ticket ran out, we still wanted to ride more bikes. So then we pedaled up to the trail that you can pedal up to and did another lap. And it was the best day ever. Talking about yesterday, aren't talking you? Talking about yesterday, <laughs> and I got sunburned. That's a great memory from Leo Gang. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think one of the first years I was here, we did ride the pros bikes, where like each athlete brought their bike from that day, and the media guys rode it as is. So like you had a 150 pound guy riding Sam Dale's bike when he was 200 pounds, but all the riders were so hungover, and it was early in the morning. I remember Matt Simmons showed up wearing somebody else's t-shirt that was like a small and he's extra large probably had vomit all over the front of it. Wait, so everyone rode the bikes down the track? Yeah. Wow. It was pretty wild. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure I would have wanted to do it, but <laughs> that was the idea at the time. Story from Leo Gang. 2013 I won the World Championship and uh, we then had two World Cups after. Went to... Uh, Norway? Yeah, we flew in early with the Fox guys on the Monday and um, decided we'd go have like a wine tasting dinner and I didn't realize Austria had so many wines. And then we went through, there was eight of us, we went through nine bottles of wine and then went to dinner. Things got really exciting. We lost Dougie Fresh, Kathy Sessler fell off the table, Fitz was dancing in the rafters and... Uh, oh, and I was there as well. I think I have a photo of that. 
<laughs> Wait, what are you wearing? Is that you? So the lady who owns the restaurant has a gold suit and she dances in the rafters. So I got her, her um, second suit and joined her. We have uh, yeah, quite a few, I'd say, but uh, I think the second win of Amory in the team uh, since he backed up Fort William, I think it was 2018. And uh, yeah, we're still like on our little cloud from Fort William and uh, yeah, he killed it again here. So yeah, that was it. But yeah, last year was pretty cool too with uh, Thibaut and Amory, two, second and third. Yeah, pretty, pretty good stories over the years here anyway. So hopefully a good one this year too. Yeah, so I haven't done too many of them, but I'd say my favorite was probably watching Greg drop into uh, Worlds in 2020. Um, it was my first sort of major race with him and it was just like a surreal experience he's like in the gate jersey on it's snowing of all things um and yeah it was it was pretty wild to be fair is uh pit setup going okay <laughs> for you guys setup is absolutely all time we showed up nice and early so we could get it up and beat the rain here we are with a park and turn style right in the middle of it but it's okay because they asked for it to be removed yesterday and they just started 10 minutes ago so. <laughs> as always long day building the pit yesterday so we decided to start yesterday because today was like a pretty shit forecast and uh, made it just in time before the, the big storm like last piece of the roof like seconds before it uh, it blown out so <laughs> stoked on this first <laughs> but yeah like almost done so that's good always feel good to have it done and ready for the week everything looking good it's going into the busiest day for you guys tomorrow? I think so. I think we're pretty organized. It's gonna be interesting about the track because they didn't change anything it looks like from World Champs. And if it's raining, which it, the forecast calls for good rain every day, it's just gonna be kind of a replay of that, which was, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Heavy rain, steep, muddy stuff. There's just too many variables going on there. I know, it's still racing, still the same, but not as fun for me. The rain has definitely been pretty intense the last few days, and it's going to be interesting to see what that does to the track. But even so, it's impossible to ignore the fact that there's just something magic about Leo Gang. I think it's because there's so much history here. So many stories were born on this track, which makes it even more exciting that tomorrow is track walk because it represents the origin of a bunch of new stories. So I know we're all super stoked um, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Oh,